Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is how to install Kali Linux 2020.4 in VirtualBox. So I downloaded the virtual image, and what we're going to do is import this into VirtualBox and get it up and running, do some navigation around some new tools, and just around the new operating system and doing some updates, and just to get it up and running. There's multiple ways how to install it. Like as you can see here on my screen, we have, we can go to Kali.org. This is where you get the operating system. This is the developers for it, Offensive Security. And if you go to Downloads here, we can download the latest 2020.4. That's what we're going to be doing. You can either download the image directly from the site or you can use a torrent uh, client such as uTorrent, um, BitTorrent, any kind of torrent client that you want to use. I already have it downloaded. And you can you you can do the installer, you can do live, you can do the net installer, etc. But in my case, what I did, I downloaded the virtual. So if you go to this is my next screen here. If we go to offensive-security.com, this is you know where you get the certification courses for OSCP, a whole bunch of other cool ones. And what we can do here, we have the VM image, which is the VMDK, and then we can. Uh, go go down to the virtual box image which is the OVA okay I have them both and I'm going to show you that in a second so and I'll put these links in the description below all right so this is my desktop I apologize for that so this is you know views downloads I downloaded the VMware this is the VMware I unzipped that here and this is my VMware the VMDK but I'm not gonna be doing it with VMware in this video, but you have the option. It all depends on what uh, hypervisor you have. A lot of people don't have VMware Workstation because you have to pay for it, and VirtualBox is free. So who doesn't like free 99? So let's go back to the VirtualBox. And if we double click on here, we can it'll open up, it should open up VirtualBox in a second. Uh, of course it opened up with VMware. I don't wanna do VMware. So let's X out of here. I apologize for that. So what we'll do is do it the long route. So what we'll do is go ahead and import appliance. So you're gonna to go to file, import appliance, and then we're gonna to browse to that location. All right, so let's go here. Since I'm a little lazy, I'll copy that URL, browse, and paste it. Bada bing, okay? And here it is. Let's open it. So this is the location where that file is. Let's hit next. This is all the information that we need for Kali Linux 20 uh, 2020.4. And we're gonna leave everything as default for now and we can always change that later on. Okay, let's import that. We're gonna go ahead and agree. And this is gonna take several minutes. This should only take a few minutes to do. It says two minutes, but sometimes it takes a little longer. So let's give that a moment. Let's go ahead and go back to the Kali, Kali website. So now if we go all the way back to you know, Kali.org, we can see the release notes. So if we click on Kali Linux 2020.4 release, we can, we can see everything that's new in here. And what is the difference between the releases 2023 and then obviously now was in August of 2020, a few months ago, and is ZHS, uh, ZSH is a new default shell. So when you open up the terminal, uh, the bash shell makeover. So in bash shell, you have, I guess, a little tweaks, partnership with tools authors. So, you know, there's some other tools, uh, message at logon. And I guess the, the, the Z -A -Z -S -H shell by default is here. You know, they're pretty much doing echo hello world. So we can just come out on the screen. It's just doing a little bash. And um, let's go ahead and, all right. So this is the bash shell makeover. This is from backtrack. This is old school. We hit it. We can see from the old school to the, like the, the 2019 and then the 2020. 
I'm guessing it keeps going on. Maybe this is 2020.2 or .3, and now we're up to 2020.4. Uh, so, and if we go keep going down, we can just, you know, we can see what's happening, partnership with different tools, and then message that logon. So it'll just show you, it'll show everything like when you try to SSH to that box. And if we just keep going, AWS EC2 cloud image refresh. So I'm guessing they, they're putting Kali Linux in AWS now. I've never run it in AWS to be honest, but you know, I guess you can do that. And some new tool, new tools and updates. Uh, Apple Blee, Cert Graph, DNS Cat 2, Final Recon, and so on and so forth. Webmass, Metasploit, uh, Metasploit Framework V6. Uh, you guys are probably used to v5 but they have new one they have a new one and i guess the no i guess you can just read through this and this is this is the, probably going to be the new look right here and let's see what else uh vmware amr device and that's pretty much it and this is pretty much you know this is how you're going to go ahead and update it <coughs> excuse me and but we'll go through this in a second we'll go through that let's go see where we're at here all right perfect it's on so there is a few things i'm going to do in my virtual machine so if we go to settings because i have different virtual networks um so i have if we go to network we go to attach to nat network i have infosec pat network uh, infosec pat that's my network name and promiscuous mode i want to go ahead and allow vms because later on this is from my own personal things offline. Um, I want this to be in promiscuous mode. All right, and then all we need is that one nick. And then one more thing I'm gonna do is go to a general advanced. I'm gonna, okay, so it's already in bi-directional. So pretty much this is so you can copy from your VM to your local host, like your Windows 10 box and vice versa. So you can copy and paste through the VM. Cool. Now let me see if anything else. Uh, how much memory? Uh, I'm going to update because I have 128 gigs of RAM. So I can afford to uh, bump this up to, let's do 8 gigs. 8 gigs. All right, so that should be all good. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and hit OK. Let's do, hit play. Now this is going to go ahead and boot this bad boy up. We'll give this a second. Here it is. I haven't updated my virtual box. I think they're up to 6.1 now. I just haven't updated it. Don't give me no problems. I don't really bother with it. All right, so let's get, uh, whoops, whoopsie daisy. All right, let's just make this bigger. We'll give this a couple moments. And the default username and password, if you get the VM, obviously if you download the ISO and you install it yourself, you put your own username, you put your own password. But by default, as we see here, now we're at the local screen. So it's Kali, Kali, okay? And you should be able to log in. And we'll give this a moment to boot. And we'll change that background. If the background doesn't change by default, there it goes. All right, so now we have this bad boy up. All right, so there's a few things, you know, we can look at. We can just right click on the desktop, go to applications. You can see all the applications as you, you know, as you can go here to the Kali, you know, the start menu, whatever you want to call this thing, and just go through information gathering. You know, you can go through all the all the tools. Okay. And if you know up here you can do this is the log off uh, button, the lock, the Presentation mode, power management, the bell, the sound, obviously, and this is the network. And this is how we can open up the folder to browse around the file system. And we should, we should know how to navigate that. We can go ahead and open up the terminal now. Let's make this a little bigger. All right, so if we just bring this over here, you know what, I wanna put this to full screen. Cool. All right, so we can go ahead and make that full screen. And we can do, an, let's do an if config first. 
and see what my IP address is. I want to make sure I'm on the 199 network. I mean the 99 network. Okay, cool. Make sure I can ping out. And I am. Perfect. So we can do a sudo apt get update. And then Kali is the password. And we'll let that. All right. So let's do. Let's just give that. Uh, oh, I spelled update wrong. That can work. I spell it right. All right. So let, we'll let that do its thing. That's normally the first thing you'll do. And the next thing you can do is upgrade. And yes, here. And we'll let that do its thing so we can make sure we get all the latest and greatest uh, patches and everything. All right, so let's minimize that. We can go ahead and right click and go to properties. We can go look at general permissions, <coughs> embols, and all this cool stuff. So another thing, let's see where we can go. Desktop settings, you can see the background, you can change the backgrounds, the menu, you can change how things show up, the icons, sizes, etc. All right, so let's go ahead and go to settings. System manager, this is pretty cool. So we can look at appearance, you know, change different appearances. See how the, I always like the dark. I don't really like the, the light. I, I'll just keep it at Cali dark. We can look at the icons. You can see different kinds of ways to change your icons, the fonts, the settings. Okay, let's, we can go ahead and close, whoops, I don't want to do that. Let's do settings again, manager. And we can go to, let's see what other cool things are on here. Uh, do, 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 do. Preferred applications. You can go ahead and go to utilities. You can, you know, change different file type. There's a whole bunch of um, things you can do in here. I just wanted to give you an overview of what kinds of um, uh, settings, and it still has like the the uh, what do you call it? Um, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank. Um, not incognito mode. Uh, I can I'll get to it in a second. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Other undercover mode. So on the cover mode, it looked like Windows 10. So now if you see, we'll get that a minute to change. Now we're like in undercover mode. So say if you have this on your laptop or anything like that, you're in like Starbucks or if you're doing a pen test for a client, you can run it like this. And you know, CMD is, is, your, is your terminal. And uh, same kind of way you can do if config and I'll do like your, you know, I, but it's, it's not going to be like IP config for Windows or anything. It doesn't like change the operating system. But um, let's go ahead and change this back. All right, let's change that back to Kali. And let's see what other thing. This is still doing the upgrade. And yeah, so pretty much, excuse me, your favorite tools, you know, like, you know, your browser. Whoops, I didn't really want to click on that. And you can go ahead and change different favorites, you know, information gathering, you can go to, a, you know, I'm, I use a lot, uh, Nmap, Maltigo, uh, Recon NG, I use Nikto a lot, and it all depends on what I'm doing, but Burp Suite, sometimes, you know, if I'm doing something with a web application, but I don't really do too much of that, to be honest, but on the password attacks, uh, I, I'm in here a lot, Hashcat, John the Ripper, and, you know, Wordless. Let's see what other, you know, obviously your exploitation tools, Metasploit, uh, M, uh, MSF Payload Creator, MSF Venom, SQL Map, Social Engineering Toolkit, and then obviously there's other tools on the internet uh, that you can actually download from GitHub repositories and such. All right, so... I think that will conclude this video. I, won't, I don't want to take too much of everyone's time. It's already been about 15 minutes. But this is going to go ahead and do its update. 
Oh, another thing, what I normally do is go to preferences in your terminal. I like to change my color and I like to put it green on black. I, hit a, I always like this color better. I don't know. Maybe it's because it makes it look like, I know it's better on my eyes. You know, I, I just like it better. So that's how you do it. You just go to right click on the terminal, go to preferences, and you can change your color scheme, however you want, but I like green on black. All right, cool deal. So if you guys enjoyed it, if you have any questions about the install, um, hit me up, write me up, write me a message, whatever. And until next time, please like, subscribe. Until next time, uh, have a good one, and hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving and good holidays to come. Be safe and enjoy. Thank you.